everyone. Welcome to the first video in a series of stop motion tutorials. Um, the tutorials themselves are not stop motion. It's a tutorial on how to do different aspects of stop motion in After Effects. I get a lot of questions about how to do stuff like camera movement, effects, just the basics of importing pictures and smoothing them out and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to explain. I'll try to make it really beginner friendly so even if you've never used After Effects, hopefully you can still follow along. So by the end of this first video, we'll have something that looks like this. Now, I know what you're thinking, this doesn't look anything like what you just saw, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a new After Effects project. Go File, New, New Project. To import the images, go File, Import, File, and select all of your images wherever they are. And once you do that, make sure you have JPEG sequence unchecked and make sure it says import as footage and press open. So once you have all your images in the project pane, look at this button right here that if you hover over it, it should say create a new composition. What we want to do is drag all of our images onto this button to create a new composition with all these images in it. So we want a single composition, use dimensions from, this doesn't matter because all the images are the same dimensions, and still duration, this is what I like to keep my still duration as. Um, what this will be equal to is each image being on the screen for two frames. Have sequence layers selected and overlap unselected. Then press OK. So now we have our composition and it's got all of our images in order, one after the other, each image lasting two frames. You can press zero on your keyboard to RAM preview it. It might take a while to load, but you can watch it. And you'll notice that the animation is starting from the end. That's actually just because I took the pictures in backwards order because it was just easier to animate Bumblebee that way. So what I want to do to fix that is you'll notice in our project pane we now have this composition named image 9600. I'll right click it and rename it to something else. I'll call it just um, basic composition. And I'll drag this basic composition onto this create new composition file again to pre-compose it. So what I'm doing here is creating a composition from a composition, composition inception, and now you can see I've got this thing as just one piece of footage as if it was a saved video in this new composition. So it automatically named it Basic Composition 2, but I'll rename it to something more logical. I'll call it Time Reverse. So since I shot this in backwards order, I'll go ahead and right click this, go to Time, Time Reverse Layer. So if we preview this, we have now have what I showed you at the beginning of this video, which is the animation of Bumblebee. And if you watch it, it's definitely slow. It's not as cool as what the thing at the beginning looked like. But it's a start. And in the next videos, I'll show you how to time remap it. I'll show you how to add the camera motion, the effects, and all the things you saw in the original. 